These four AI tools will make you 10 times more productive. And I guarantee you everyone watching this video right now will be using at least one of these tools by the end of this video. In my last video, I talked about the different businesses that you could start using OpenAI's GPT-3 API, which I think is one of the biggest opportunities our generation has right now. But I have news for you, my friends. The idea, that's actually the easy part. Execution is where things get hard. And if you wanna execute on your idea as quickly as possible, it's probably wise to optimize your productivity with the help of artificial intelligence as well. These four tools have saved me so much time in creating presentations, taking notes, drafting emails, doing research, and much, much more. And just to be clear, I am not associated with any of these tools in any way, shape, or form, and I'm not being paid to talk about any of these. These are tools that I just genuinely find useful. So with that being said, if any of these tools help you all i ask is that you just click like on this video and send it to a friend so we can all continue to get better together deal all right so a big part of my job is actually creating presentations and so when my friend gronk wizard actually sent me this tool called tome I got very excited. So Tome is basically an AI powered presentation builder. So whether you're making pitch decks, business proposals, school projects, whatever fits your needs, Tome will help you with that. And the cool thing is they actually use GPT-3 natively and DALI natively to help you generate the text and the images for the presentations. And yes, you heard that right. This app will actually create your entire presentation, text, images in a story-like way, all in less than one minute. It's pretty remarkable. And to show you I'm not lying, I'm actually just gonna make one right now. So I am actually speaking at my friend Ryan Pineda's upcoming real estate event in Las Vegas on January 11th, and I am going to speak. So I need a presentation to speak on. I will be speaking on future technologies and how they're gonna impact the real estate market. So let's use Tome to create the presentation that I'm going to speak about at Ryan's event. So you just go to Tome, you just hit create. And then at the very bottom, create a presentation about, let's say, how future technologies like Web3 and AI are going to change the real estate market in the coming years. Enter. As you can see, it's creating it live in front of us right now. So that was less than a minute. The whole thing is created. Looking at the title page, it says real estate revolution, how Web3 and AI will transform the market. It gives you a quick outline of what each slide will cover. Then we talk about smart contracts in the real estate market. It describes what smart contracts are, which is spot on. And the real estate market is actually beginning to benefit from the use of smart contracts as they enable and secure efficient transactions. 100% true. Now it's going into AI, which I actually haven't done a lot of research on, but apparently artificial intelligence is revolutionizing the way real estate is bought and sold from automated property valuations to predictive analytics. AI driven services are helping to make the real estate market more efficient, secure, and accessible. So as we go through the presentation, you can see that it covers all of the bases at a really high level. Now I'll definitely go through this and make things way more detailed and add extra touches, but this is a really good starting point to build off. Instead of just looking at a blank screen and having to type in all those definitions myself, I get a nice image and nice text that has a good detailed explanations of what topics I'm covering, especially when I'm talking to a new audience. So this is something that I would use to give me a nice baseline and then I'll build off it to make it my own. And on top of this, Tome is a good presentation builder. It has all the different tools, text, image, formatting, input, anything you need. It's really, really useful. So just simply using this as a baseline and then using Tome's actual presentation creator tools, it saves me so much time when I'm doing project proposals for my agency. And it's free, so it's a no brainer for me. And if you actually wanna see me present this presentation live in the Mirage in Vegas on the 11th, I'll just leave a link with a discount code in the description below. So the next one is one that we all probably know and love by now, and that's gonna be ChatGPT. I've been using this to write memos to my employees, drafting emails, and many random other ways. In my video last week, I actually talked about how ChatGPT could be used to write blog posts or articles that could help boost you in SEO. And a lot of people were quick to comment saying that Google can actually pick up on AI written content and this would actually hurt you in their rankings. Well, my friends, I have a way around that. So whether it's for SEO, school, research, whatever you may be doing, I do think you should be able to use AI as a tool to help you accomplish those. And so I'm gonna show you another AI tool that you could pair ChatGPT with to get around this. So Quillbot is actually an AI based paraphrasing app that you can use and it'll basically reword any paragraph for you. On top of that, it can even change the tone, style, and the length of the message that you put into it. And to prove this works, there actually are AI detectors out there. And so let's go ahead and have ChatGPT make a story for us about maybe a YouTuber that got caught cheating on his homework. All right, so we got a pretty long story here about Jack who got caught. His teacher actually put it in a detector herself. So 
We're going to put the first two paragraphs in the Quillbot and see what it does. It's going to reword things here. It shows you which words that it actually rephrases. We're going to copy this and then we're going to put it over here into the content written detector. Analyze text and 97% human generated content. Pretty cool, right? So keep that in mind if you're using ChatGPT for any of those reasons. So moving on to the next tool. As I mentioned earlier, I've been using ChatGPT to help me draft emails, but this next tool optimizes your email using AI. So Superhuman claims to be the fastest email experience ever made. And I have to say, it has drastically changed the way that I actually use my email. So first, how AI is leveraged is they quickly show you the emails that you value the most or are most important to you based on your behavior. That way you never miss important emails again. And on top of this, they have a undo send feature, which I did not even know was possible. But if you click undo send, it'll be like the email is never sent. So if you had a typo, you said something you shouldn't have, you can just hit undo send and there you go. You got bailed out. And on top of this, they also have a feature that shows if someone read your emails, which again, I didn't know was possible. And those are just cool features, but it actually makes the experience of email much faster. Instead of having to know where every button is on the Google user interface, you can just open up a command center, hit command U, and then type in whatever you want to do. Whether you want it to remind you to reply to this email two days later. A lot of times in my life, I'll get email. that's not very time sensitive. I don't need to talk to this person until Wednesday. And so this, I can literally just say, command you remind me two days and then in two days right there shows up back at the top of my inbox like I just received the email which is really useful and so what this really does is makes it so you can clear your inbox every single day instead of just looking like at a big wall of intimidating emails you can put them in different sections ones that you're working on now ones that have been sent ones that have been deleted and it's just a really good way to organize your email and cumulatively it probably saves me about an hour every single week which is pretty drastic so in my opinion it's definitely worth the 10 minutes that it took to set up and take the tutorial to learn how to use it. Um, but that's just me. Check it out if it sounds like something cool to you. All right, then moving on to the last tool, which I have been using for years is actually Notion. And this is a note taking app, spreadsheet building app. It's basically like the Google suite, like Google Docs, Google Spreadsheets, but way more advanced and a much better user interface. So Notion actually announced that their AI features are coming soon. There's currently a wait list, so this isn't out yet. But in general, if you haven't used Notion, check it out. It's going to save you a lot of time and there's a lot of cool features that will make your life better. But Notion can be used to take notes, build spreadsheets, manage teams, much, much more. It's really cool because you can actually like layer your note taking. Basically, if you took notes two weeks ago, and now you're taking notes today, you can literally like hyperlink text back to your previous notes if you need to reference it for your team. So as Mark said in presentation two weeks ago, click here, they'll read the two weeks ago's notes and then you're gonna compile more notes underneath that. But all it is is a hyperlink so you don't need to like completely make a whole doc explaining last year's. So it gets really powerful because it's a lot like a computer's folder system where you can create a folder, put files in there, put another folder, put files in there. And so it compiles information very concisely and is a very good way to communicate across your team. So that alone is very powerful, but Notion recently announced that they are adding AI as a new feature. So their tagline is leverage the limitless power of AI in any Notion page, write faster, think bigger, and augment your creativity like magic. So it basically brings the power of ChatGPT, but puts it natively in the Notion dashboard which is going to change the game. So now let's say you're making a document and you need to make a list of four recipes. You can simply ask Notion, hey, give me a list of four different recipes that we could cook for dinner. And the response you get is exactly the response that you would get if you input that into ChatGPT, but now it's directly in your note-taking platform, which will save a ton of time. So the long, long two weeks of copying and pasting your ChatGPT onto your note-taking app is gone. So this is going to streamline my workflow so, so much. So on top of like prompting different creative ideas, kind of like the example with the presentations that I shared earlier, it's going to summarize my notes for me if I want to compile them. It's going to have automatic spell check and grammar check. And on top of that, it'll actually translate any language live right in your notes. Just simply ask it to. So this one's not actually released yet. This is currently on a wait list. So if you want to get access before most people, I highly recommend joining the wait list because this is probably going to be a big game changer and will make you a lot more productive. Um, it's a lot like GitHub's Copilot, uh, but for everyday people, not just coders, if any of you know what that means. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, my developer friend 
actually found a way to use ChatGPT, but with your Siri on your iPhone. And so you can literally have like an AI powered voice assistant on your iPhone. And it's pretty cool because you get the power of ChatGPT like anywhere you go at your fingertips. So if you want to learn how to do that, it's kind of a technical setup. It takes like five to 10 minutes, but I'll actually just have him make a tutorial video. And if you just put your email in the link below, we'll send it to you for free. So if you have any questions for me about AI businesses or my developers on that process, we actually have an AI Discord server that's completely free. I'll leave the link in the description below as well. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the content and you want more AI videos on how it can improve your everyday life, I have a lot more videos like this coming. So just hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.